Hey everybody, long time no see. It's Brandon here again with a uh, kind of a Chrome OS video, but what I really wanted to show off is this mini PC. Uh, this is the Amazon page. You can see I bought this thing on February 8th. This is the uh, B-Link Sur 5 Ryzen 7 mini PC. Um, I can't like take it apart for you in this video and show you the inside like on some of my other videos because I'm actually running uh, Chrome OS off of this little B-Link right now and that's really what I wanted to talk about. You might remember if you watched my channel for a while about a year, year and a half ago I had another one of these B-Link computers and it died after a couple months so I was kind of leery about getting one again but uh, these things go on sale all the time and um, I don't remember what I paid for it. I think it was 230 Right now it's for 289 But if you watch on Amazon, these things go on sale like all the time. And so you can really get them pretty cheap. And it's actually a good machine for uh, what you pay, you know, provided it has longevity. This one, it's been on almost full time since I got this in February. And, you know, I got my fingers crossed. It's still running and still working right now. Uh, but I will, of course, report and let you guys know when or if this thing dies. I have read that these B-Links are getting better lately. I can't verify that myself, but I've read that. Of course, I'll let you know my experience. But this is what this thing has. It's a older Ryzen 7. It's a 5th Gen 5700U. U is, of course, a little lower-powered CPU. 8-core, uh, 16 threads, turbo boost up to 4.3 gigahertz. This thing came with 16 gigs of RAM, 500 gigabyte SSD. And so, like I said, for under 300 bucks, like I said, if you watch, you can get these for just barely over 200 sometimes. It's actually, you get a lot of machine for a little bit of price, which is why I wanted to test this thing out. Now, this thing comes with Windows 11, even. Um, and it's not even Home Edition. It's Windows 11 Pro. So... And actually, Windows 11 runs good on that on this thing, which I'll talk about in a minute. So if you're looking for a little Windows computer, this actually fits the bill pretty good on that front, too. Uh, but, of course, we talk about Chrome OS on this channel, so I did want to try out Chrome OS Flex on this. And um, as you can see, I got the Diagnostics tag, tab open here, so you can see uh, what the system's all about. Uh, it says it's running at 62 degrees Celsius. I guess that's okay. The fan... When this thing speeds up, you can kind of hear it, but it's not too loud. Um, if you look at the reviews on this thing, people are talking about how loud the fan gets. I don't know what their basis of comparison is. I mean, yeah, it's louder than my MacBook Air that has no fan at all in it. But um, compared to my desktop, this thing's quiet even when it's really spinning up. As you can see, I got Chrome OS 123 on here. I want to talk about some of the things that are not going to work with Chrome OS on this little machine. Um... Uh, pop me up there. Okay, it says Bluetooth is on and it works. Let's be real. The Bluetooth radio that comes with this does not work on Chrome OS. It works on Windows. It works on Linux. It says it works on Chrome OS, but I haven't been able to pair anything to it. In order to pair anything with this, I had to plug this, uh, I don't know if you can see it, this little Bluetooth, Bluetooth dongle. And uh, with the dongle, I was able to connect several devices, no problem. But I uh, just... Out of the box, the Bluetooth doesn't work, and neither does the Wi-Fi. You can see here I'm on Ethernet. It works really great with Ethernet, but um, <clears throat> Wi-Fi is a no-go. I also have two screens plugged into this thing. It does have both an HDMI and a DPI port on the back. I'm utilizing both. You can't see it right now, but I can move stuff over to my other monitor if need be. So that all works good. Linux works great on this thing. Um, I have installed several things just to test out. Uh, Installed some games through FlatHub, like OpenRA, I like that one. Uh, regular Minecraft, I was able to install. Um, I think I use a flat pack on that too. I was able to play multiplayer with my family the other night on the Java Edition. Java Edition. Everything runs smooth and good frame rates. Everything runs great on this. I did install Steam on this thing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click it from just a... I haven't preloaded it yet or anything. So you can see kind of how long it takes Steam to load up here. Chrome OS Flex doesn't support the, um, I think they call it Borealis on regular Chrome OS where it has native Steam support built in. So I am running this, I think, through Flatpak also. And um, it takes a little while to launch. As you can see, I clicked on it quite a few seconds ago and it hasn't come up yet. But if it does come up, I'll talk about it. If not, I won't. Some of the older games, older 3D games I've tried on Steam have run fine. Uh, things like Command and Conquer Generals is a game I really like. It ran good. 
older Half-Lifes and stuff like that that'll run good. I think I tried World of Tanks and it barely ran, so I uninstalled it. Um, and so there's some other stuff. I frankly didn't spend a lot of Steam time on this. Because if you do want to run Steam, I mean, heck, this thing comes with Windows. I think you'd just use that. But it is it does kind of work on Chrome OS for uh, people who are interested in that. Um, yeah, other than that, this is probably the best Chrome OS experience I've had on uh, any device I've tried it on. Even an actual Chromebook. I have a Lenovo. I bought a Lenovo. I think it's called the 3i. It's a pretty good real Chromebook that I'm going to talk about on the channel in the not too distant future here. I think this runs more performant than that thing. I haven't had any slowdowns, any hiccups, or anything bad like that. So that's all good. Finally, I want to touch on the Windows 11 that this thing came with. Uh, this thing screams on Windows 11 if you're not doing anything hardcore. But even for some gaming, I, uh, I was able to do Steam VR stream to my Quest 3 with this thing. And um, I was able to play Minecraft VR on this little mini B-Link PC. So I was impressed with that. That worked good. Um, if anyone wants to know how to set that up, I can do a video about that sometime. It wasn't overly difficult. So here's what I'd say. B-Link, I'm always weary about him just because the only other B-Link I ever bought died in just a couple months. So far, this one's been good. I can't complain about it too much. I will let you guys know if it dies. But for the price, especially if you watch this page and you can get this thing on sale, it's a pretty dang good deal for a tiny computer. Um, yeah, it's smaller than like an Intel NUC computer. It's not much bigger. Let's see if I hold this up to it. Yeah, I mean, size-wise, it's this is a Google Pixel 6. It's uh, it's smaller than it, you know, this way, and it's square. So, really small computer. 16 gigs of RAM, 500 gigs storage, decent CPU. If you're not looking for anything demanding, if you're looking for uh, office work, software development, light gaming, even VR streaming to a Quest headset, this thing was able to handle all that. So I was really impressed with that. Um, if there's anything you want me to try on this thing, let me know when I can do that. Uh, probably Chrome OS, not the best option for this, even though besides Wi-Fi and Bluetooth everything on Chrome OS does run pretty good on this thing I've had no problems with it whatsoever it also comes with Windows 11 which runs flawlessly on this machine and it runs Linux pretty good I've tried Fedora no problems with that that's to be honest the only distro I tried but generally if that one's working the other ones are gonna be working too so yeah I mainly just wanted to show you guys this just so you know what kind of machine I've been playing with lately if you've been on the fence about one of these things, maybe roll the dice, maybe give it a try. Again, I'll probably do another video in a few months and let you know if it still runs or not. Or if it does die, I'll let you guys know right away. That'll be no fun. But yeah, this is B-Link Sur 5. Cool mini computer. It's the best mini computer I've had so far. If it keeps working, it'll remain the best one I've had so far. I know there's other faster ones out there. For something like Chrome OS, that's definitely overkill. And even for Windows 11, unless you're doing some, really trying to do some gaming on it, which is not really what a mini PC is for, um, I think this one will do anything you need to do. But let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Sorry I haven't made many videos lately. Um, I did take off of all YouTube and social media during Lent. It was kind of a spiritual fasting I did. and uh, But then once Lent was over, as I really didn't miss... YouTube and social media that much so I haven't made anything in a while but maybe I'll make some more things if you guys are interested in seeing stuff like I said I did get a new actual Chromebook which I might talk about at some point here but yeah that's me rambling thank you for watching I hope you all are having a good time and I'll see you when I see you